what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? There's a video circulating on the World Wide Web of a young lady sitting in a car flashing money. She like that, right? Look like a bunch of 20s. I don't know if I saw any hundreds, but you know, it was a lot of money. She like, yeah, showing it off and bam, somebody come and grab it and take off. Some, somebody snatched it right out of her hand and bailed. Now, first thing come to mind, someone would say, well, that's what she get, flashing her money. Okay, I get it. That's stupid. Flashing money, we've been telling people for the longest. Look, man, put your money in your pocket. You're going to mess around and get hit in the head. Everybody ain't able. Some people out here struggling. They see you doing all of that, they're going to try to figure out how to get you. And if you get got, that's your fault. I got it. I used to do the same thing. Well, not like that. I ain't do it like that. But I used to walk around with a bunch of money in my front pockets. It made me feel good about myself. I had never had any money before. Not that kind of money. So when I got the opportunity to be able to reach inside of my pocket and pull out a big old knot of all hundreds and see the reaction on people's faces. I was kind of cool, you know, at that time. I was immature. Youngster getting money. That's why I don't really freak out. Or I don't trip when I see a lot of these youngsters, you know, just flashing money because I, I know what comes with that. And I've been there, I've done that, I had my time. That's why I be tripping out sometimes when us older people, the people that in my generation are older than me, are going in on the youngsters about every little thing like we didn't do some of this stuff, you know? We, was, we did a lot of stupid stuff too. But of course, our transgressions were not as advertised because we didn't have this thing called the internet. So, having said that, she did put herself in a position to get jacked. The flip side of that is, nobody's calling out the dude who basically robbed this young lady. It doesn't matter if you are flashing your money or not. Nobody has the right to take what's yours. It's still your money at the end of the day. It's your money. It's like somebody making an excuse for a girl who wears provocative clothes. You know, a girl gets raped, sexually assaulted. Well, you know, look what she was wearing. Wait a minute. I don't give a damn if a woman is walking down the street butt naked. Nobody has a right to sexually assault her. See, we just, I don't know what's going on with society that we oftentimes make excuses for the perpetrators, the people who are the offenders. We oftentimes sympathize with them and we blame the victim. Yes, what she did was stupid as hell. But did she get what she deserved? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not of that belief. It was her money, it was hers to flash. Yes, yeah, she put herself in a bad situation, but she didn't break the law flashing money. Dude broke the law when he robbed her. And the thing is, is that he would have been surprised as hell. And she pulled out a strap and shot in his back. That's what I would do. Smash mine, I'm gonna get you. Like, I'm, I'm sure I would have been ready to, like, it had that happened. First of all, I, I don't flash money like that, but if I did, uh, there's no way possible I wouldn't be strapped. And I would have popped him right in his back. 
a bunch of times. But what say you? Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm going too far with this. Let me know what you think, fam. Drop a comment. No more talk.